Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'd like to share with you how to crochet this washcloth. It's done in a DK cotton yarn and I've used a Trinity stitch. I chose the Trinity stitch because it's a nice compact little stitch and I chose the DK yarn, cotton yarn 100% because it's lovely and durable and very absorbent. So this particular little cloth is actually nine inches square in total and I started with a, a chain of 42 using a 4.5 millimeter hook and DK cotton yarn but today we're going to just use 12 chains to start and make a little swatch. So go ahead and start with your slip knot on your hook and chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Don't count the loop on your hook. Skip the first chain. In the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and yarn over and pull through the two loops. That is a little single crochet. In the UK, a double crochet. Now in the same chain that you've just worked into, insert your hook back in there, yarn over and pull through a loop. In the next chain along, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. In the next chain along, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook to close the stitch. And there's your first Trinity stitch. Now we're going to work into the same chain that we've just worked into. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through a loop, two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through a loop, three loops on your hook. Into the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through four loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook to close the stitch. It's made almost like a little cluster of three on a slight slant. Right, so now we're going to go back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, two loops on a hook. In the next stitch, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, three loops on a hook. Um, take care you do go into the next stitch, the next chain I should say. Yarn over, pull through and now you've got four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four and then close that little cluster. Yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook. Back into the same chain you've just worked into. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, two loops on your hook. In the next chain, search your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, three loops on your hook. And then into the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops and then you'll have one loop on your hook, yarn over and pull through that remaining loop. And then insert your hook into the same space, into the same chain you've just worked into, yarn over, pull through a loop, into the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, and now you're at your final chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Now here don't close the stitch using the yarn over and pulling through the loop on your hook. Instead, go back into the same stitch you've just worked into, insert your hook and do a single crochet like so. And that's your first row 
Trinity stitch completed. And for the next row, you chain one, turn and back into there in that first stitch, do a single crochet, yarn over, pull through two. Then into the same stitch you've just worked into, start the sequence again of inserting your hook, yarning over and pulling through a loop. In the next stitch, make sure you go under the top two loops of the stitch and yarn over, pull through three loops on your hook. And now we're going to go into the next stitch. This one can be a little bit fiddly because it's the top of the Trinity stitch of the row below. Make sure you get the two little loops of the top of the stitch there. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four. Close the stitch, yarn over, pull through the last loop, or, sorry, the one loop on your hook. Into the very same stitch you've just worked into. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. And then into the next stitch. Remember, this one's a little fiddly. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Then yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through to close. Then into the same space or the same stitch you just last, you last worked into, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop. In the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. And into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four, yarn over, pull through the last loop on your hook to close the Trinity stitch. And again, straight into that last stitch you worked into with your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, two loops on your hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, three loops on your hook, into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook. And then into the same stitch you've just worked into, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. And now just be careful at the end, you might need to rotate your work to just see those two little strands of the V stitch, the top of the stitch there. Just make sure you get under there. Yarn over, pull through a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. And remember at the end, we don't yarn over and pull through. What we do here is do a single crochet back into that stitch. And there's your round finished. And then you just repeat what we've done over and over and there's your Trinity stitch. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and please just rewind where you need to and I'll put a few more details in this description box for what I've used and the measurements and the stitch count etc for this washcloth. So if you're not already subscribed, it'd be great if you would. And if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and any comments greatly appreciated. Constructive criticism, very much appreciated. So um, yes, look forward to seeing you next time. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.